right guys, so one last video before I head off to my course at Rancho Masatal. And um, I got a call from a friend and he heard that I was in town and needless to say, I am at Alegria. I'll probably botch that one up. Um, Stephen Brooks' new property right next to La Eco Villa. And I heard I had to come over here and see the greenhouse, see the gardens, see the yoga deck they're putting in. Got some epic drone footage. You guys are gonna die when you see this place. So this is a new, you know, kind of permaculture based community. Um, you know, really cool eco stuff going on here. Obviously community gardens, everything's gonna be similar to what you saw over at La Eco Villa. I'm gonna let Steven kind of talk to you about that a little more. Check this place out, it is epic. So hold tight. Welcome back, Pete. And everyone else out there in computer land, uh, we're in Alegria, which means happiness and joy. And uh, we're in San Mateo. And if you saw the last video we did in La Icovilla, we're just up the road from that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's the whole idea of how can we merge where we live with what we eat? You know, so many of you follow this channel because following Pete going all around with these incredible foods and seeing all these I mean, it's not even just the foods, but like this whole idea of the people behind the foods, you know, at all these different farms that you visit, it's not just the plants that they're growing, but the relationship between the people and the plants. And, uh, you know, when people say to me, Stephen, you know, what do you do? I'm usually like, I'm an ethnobotanist and ethnobotany uh, is the study of the relationship between humans and plants. And what I find so fascinating is this relationship is so deep, whether it's through the foods we eat or the medicines we heal uh, with or the clothes that we wear or the medicines that we <laughs> take, you know, it's like they're all coming from plants and they're coming from, you know, cultures that have evolved over time alongside these plants. And all I can think about is why aren't we merging where we live with these plants that we grow and these foods that we eat? And why is it that we live in, you know, this matrix and this, you know, society and the way things are? And I'm, I can't help but think it's like things are the way they are but they don't need to be that way anymore. Why do you live here and your best friends live here? What is the commute like from your house to your best friend's house? It's like a question I keep asking people, why isn't that commute, you know, through an orchard, a few minutes across a river? Like, you know, that's how it should be and that's how it can be. You know, this is kind of a new project. We purchased the land less than a year ago. This, all this dome and these gardens we've created in under a year. We closed in late July and we really started in September. So this is, you know, this project's just getting going. Uh, and it's up the street from Ecovia, which if you saw the other video, click here, look at that link, um, is uh, 45 families. We started 10 years ago with La Ecovia and there's 45 families. We have incredible crew. Uh, my, my partner Marcelo, we put together 45 families are living there from 22 countries and the parents co-created a school that has over 50 uh, children in it. And what I find, we were so intent on, on the children, like what are we going to do about our children? And most of the people that move there, move there for the school and the focus on their children. But then we started thinking, but what about our 75 year old parents? Like we were all in the same boat. It's, you know, when you think about your children, you end up just putting them in any school because other people have organized that. But what if we can co-create the most epic school for our children? And again, it gets me back to thinking, what about our 75 year old parents? And that's kind of one of the, one of the challenges that I'll agree is really trying to you know, confront is how can we take care of our children, take care of our elders, take care of this planet. Uh, here at I'll agree, we've already planted like over 1400 native trees all along the road. We've planted hundreds of fruit trees. I mean, again, it's like, Again, merging where we live with what we eat. I can't think of anything more important. And you know, when we started a community, the first thing we do is create the most epic gardens. And I feel like really this time we took it to a whole other level. And you know, right now we're just, we're really getting ready for all of you to come and, and live in this organic food dream dripping paradise.
yeah, this is it. Let's start right now and dream big. There is absolutely no limits. Like I remember when I first sat up there, I were right where up there where the yoga deck's being built. Check it out. You know, we, we, we saw that big rock and we said, yeah, let's build a yoga deck right up there on top of that big rock. And, um, and let's make the view down into the garden just the most epic, unbelievable view ever. What, if I could do anything, what would it look like? And I remember thinking big domes with, you know, farm to table dinners and, you know, mandala, you know, Fibonacci spirals coming out of it. You know, it's all of these amazing thoughts and ideas that we had. And here it is, you know? So it's just like, it's just a testament that there's nothing that we can't do. And, you know, this isn't just something that we can do on YouTube. Although, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, click subscribe. Uh, you know, we can live this every day and we can all be a part of this. We don't have to live vicariously through Pete or live vicariously through me or live vicariously through Paul Zink. We can all be living this dream right now and co-creating it. And we're on 170 acres here and we're about 45 minutes from the airport. You know, when I moved down to Costa Rica, I, I, I moved to Punta Mona, which click here. <laughs> you can watch a few of those episodes. Um, Punta Mona is located, you know, it's a four hour drive and then it's a 25 minute boat ride. And, and at the time, you know, it was kind of like a soul heart connection with the land. It wasn't like, what is the criteria of what I'm looking for in my, in my dream property? You know, and we're here, we really did. I knew I wanted to be within 45 minutes or an hour of San Jose from the airport. I knew that I wanted to have a crystal clear river that we can dive into and drink from. I knew that I wanted to be in the climate between four and 700 meters above sea level. 520 meters right here so I can grow vegetables and all the tropical fruits you know it's like kind of this edge we talk a lot about edge like the edge between you know this temperate highlands tropics and this lowland tropics where we can grow the vegetables and the fruit You know, when Pete first came last time, Dico Via, he's like, yeah, I think, uh, I just think I might have to move here. And, you know, and ever since we had that conversation, I was like, come back. Let's really, you know, it's like, I, I love what you do, Pete, so much. I love your passion for food because I'm right there with you. And, and I love the way that you're infecting people, as I do every day, infect people into having this love for exotic foods and, and the cultivating of them, and that we don't need to live separate from our food, that we can have them even in our own small suburban yard. And I know that, that you're doing that all over Florida and now down here in Costa Rica. And uh, my dream is to co-create the village of our dreams together and to invite each and every one of you to come down here to Costa Rica and see what we're doing and to co-create the village of our dreams. There's no limit. I mean, we're creating a whole kind of ecoversity school where people are gonna you know, learn these most important skills. It's just unbelievable. We go to school and we go to college and we spend, you know, 18 years in school learning. And at the end of the day, we don't really even know how to do the most important things in the world, you know? So yeah, that, that's where we are and that, and we're excited to, we're really excited to open this invitation to everyone to come down here to Costa Rica. And, and it's, and maybe not in Costa Rica. Like if you're trying to do this, wherever you live, we want to help and support, uh, you know, Pete and all of us with the plant stuff, but also just even with, you know, in permaculture, we talk a lot about, you know, obviously the agriculture and the green building, you know, and the water systems and the solar and the alternative energy, but this whole concept of invisible structures, how are we gonna make decisions? How are we gonna set this up legally? You know, how are we gonna start, you know, why is it just the big Pulte homes and the big, you know, deals that happen with Walmart that the suburbs are sprawling, you know, without real, you know, thoughtful design and how are we going to create a world that really nurtures us and really nurtures this planet and really leaves something for our children and our grandchildren that like, wow, man, grandpa, thank you. Thank you, grandpa, for leaving this most incredible orchard and these unlimited bamboo and, and hardwoods for me to build my homes and my children and my children's children. You know, I always say if everyone's grandparents had taken a permaculture course, this world would be so much better. Alegria Village is what it's called here. My name is Stephen Brooks and I am honored to look at all of you through that lens and I invite you down here to be a part of the dreams that we're that we're creating. Beautiful Thanks so much for Stephen. watching. Thank you. Yeah, Pete. Right, pound dirt.
right guys so all i can say is like wow um this place looks unreal the gardens look amazing looks unreal from the drone um definitely might consider getting a lot here in the future myself so who knows i do like being close to the airport i think my long-term dream is to have a uh, a property in the jungle somewhere but this is uh this is pretty epic. I'll leave some links in the description down below for Steven. Don't forget, like Steven said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Hit that bell to stay notified. And most importantly, pound dirt. Achoo.